Hi guys, this is Svetlana and Valer Konrad. Today I will tell you one of the stories that happened uh, in Russia, in the Institute of Russian Theatre, where Eric studied and he got his education there. It's, um, again, I'm trying to tell you the stories from my perspective as an outsider of the ballet. Uh, that in, in, I found it interesting because when you interact with ballet people, you can find out something interesting about them. They, they are actually pretty good. So today I'm going to talk about um, Eric's teacher, uh, Vadim Anatolyevich Utkin. Um, what specifically I liked about him? Well, so normally uh, when Eric was studying or going where I always record everything. Um, but in the institute, I actually don't have a lot of footage. I probably have a little bit of footage, maybe like a few minutes and um, maybe a few pictures. And, and I'll explain why. And this is the only reason why I'm telling you the story. Because, so his teacher was, um, he, he taught, he's not only teaching, he's not only a teacher of Institute of Russian Theater, he's also a teacher of Gitis. Um, it's also cultural cultural institute in, in, in Moscow. Um, so what specifically I like about him? He, <laughs> um, so I asked him, can I actually record the classes, the, one, the classes that he is giving? Because I explained it will be easy if we'll just record it. So then we, got, we will have the information of what he is teaching and it will be easier for us later on to, for me to translate and explain if I don't understand something because of the language difference and not knowing the valley slang and all that. So what he responded, uh, Vadim Anatolyevich, he told me that he actually against that and at the beginning he was very very stubborn he didn't want to tell me why exactly he was against that uh, um, he was just didn't want to do in, be on the camera but then later on he actually told me the truth um, why he doesn't want to be filmed and uh, and after that I actually got respect for this guy so anyway but he said to me that the reason he doesn't want to do it because He'd been teaching um, a lot of students, including foreign students, and he says that most of the time he never, he didn't care about the people recording him and recording his classes. So he said, it's like, so at the beginning he was all right with that, like some years ago when he started teaching. And, but then he found out when he was traveling around um, and doing the guest work in different countries, he found out that his video is being sold somewhere else in some other country and uh, and nobody actually gives him um, credit for that that he was the teacher and so that's why he was against actually that anybody would record him ever teaching so anyway but what i'm trying to tell you <laughs> so after that when he explained the whole situation he also said that the ballet world itself a little bit um, even in russia russian to russian is sometimes could be cruel and because he's also working in gitis so one of his artists when when uh, he was helping uh there was a collection of other teachers who worked together on on the book i have the book actually i can show it to you which book i'm referring to one second here this is this is the book. It's called System of Sistema Mushkova Classical Dance. So it's a man classical dance. System of man classical dance. You know, so here is this book. You know, it's actually had a cover, but I don't I don't have the cover. Never like covers on the books, they're always in my way. <laughs> so anyway, it's a very good interesting book. It's about like the art part of it. And, well, you can find different but one can juice and all that it's all there it's it's interesting book to read you know talking about different jumps the pirouettes um so and, and the people who were involved in making this book including and also pictures of different artists there too so everybody who worked with so anyway the the book is the author of the book is valukin he's the one who actually wrote the book 
but there was a collaboration of other teachers who were helping him to you know, to write this book. Um, and so Vadim Anatolievich Utkin, Eric's teacher, he was part of supposedly one of his chapters which should be in this book and uh, they didn't actually you know, print it or didn't or they printed the article but they didn't um, put his name as a credit in there so again that's what I'm saying that even Russian to Russian sometimes in the ballet world there's uh, you know intrigues and people don't I guess like each other and you know do all kind of um, drama there too so that's why he explained it to me that what exactly happened to him and why he is a little bit against uh, me recording him and recording his classes when he was teaching so anyway um, that's after that when he explained that I actually started to respect the guy uh, the teacher because it's, it's, it's good that you know people can uh, tell you the truth that why they don't want to be filmed not just because they have really and he even actually said it's like maybe I'm a uh, like childish about it but he says like but I don't want people um, I don't want people just to record me and using my knowledge without my credit. He says it's better if just nobody records me or so, you know. That he says, like, I'm probably mature. That was his exact words. Uh, that's, I kind of like that when he said that. It's, I appreciate that when people tell the truth and explain why they don't want to help or why they feel a certain way of not helping. But anyway, after that, when we talked and, you know, uh, again, being Russian helps. I understand how to talk to him. So, um, made situation a little bit easier, I guess. And he became a little bit more open to uh, foreigners and receive. And he was actually more open to Eric to talk about, to start teaching him. He liked the, uh, his perspective of uh, how Eric thinks about technique. So, yes, I mean, the conversation went on and on, and it became very, very, very. Um, I guess interesting. So I noticed that sometimes, even in the ballet world, you know, before you even step in further, there's a lot of people who already had a bad, bad experience or they have a like bad bag baggage with them. So that's why they don't want to um, probably work right away. But any anyway, that what I've noticed that you know, like if you talk to them, and again, you need to be a little bit more patient. Um, because even Vadim Anatolievich, he didn't really at the begin, he didn't open up right away. It took some time actually for him to open up and start talking even to me in Russian. So I don't know. That's why if you're a foreigner and you're trying to learn ballet uh, in Russia, for example, yes, that that there is a tendency that probably. Um, people will not tell you all the secrets or will not explain why they feel a certain way or why they're suspicious of foreigners or why they don't want to give the knowledge. They not necessarily will tell you the truth. Just because, I guess, either they don't want to offend, uh, offend people, but that action itself probably offends it too if, it, if they're not telling you the truth or they don't explain why they have a hold back, why they don't want to talk to you. So, yes, I mean, this is one of the examples that I noticed that it helps. Let's put it this way. It was one of those misunderstanding and miscommunication, if, if uh, we're talking about between Eric and his teacher, that they didn't understand why why there was, at the beginning, there was some kind of a, like this put it, cold wall between them, you know. And, well, it takes time, but you, you know, you know, understand. But when I explained Eric that and I told him that, he actually understood and he says, Look, I completely understand what you're saying when people are trying to like take advantage of the situation, and especially if you're in another country, it's easier to do that. So, yes, I guess they bonded on that, and that was interesting. But anyway, there are some footages as I'm talking, you can see where he had been uh, working and they were explaining different things. You know how the choreography works it's it's interesting to watch that actually it's very 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 good you know so yes i'm glad that i actually was able to uh let's put it this way not being really a student 
by just being an interpreter uh, sitting in this in the studio and um, working with some of the good teachers in Russia it's, it was a very good experience um, I think not everybody can I'm talking about like if you're not a student not everybody can actually experience that just come and join the lecture <laughs> and look at the um, process of uh, how how people get educated in ballet especially it's what's needed so anyway that's one of the stories it's that i actually want to share with you for today